Hey, how's everybody doing? I thought I would talk about something, a um, little subject called the internet is shit. The internet shit? Are you off your fucking rocker here? Are you up your own ass or something? What gives, man? It's probably what you're thinking, probably thinking something worse. I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, it's vitally important that we realize this and move on. People go on and on about how wonderful the internet is. About how much information there is out there in cyberspace. About how everything is within reach with just a couple of clicks of your mouse. Mine's an opti. For instance, quote from Alan Cohen, Vice President of Aerospace, New York uh, Wi-Fi provider, from the Times, says, If I can operate Google, I can find anything. Google combined with Wi-Fi is a little bit like God. God is wireless, God is everywhere, and God sees and knows everything. Throughout history, people have connected to God without wires. Now, for many questions in the world, you can ask Google. Increasingly, you can do it without wires, too. Well, I can name 20 people from my old school class who aren't on Google. I can walk in at any public library, and no matter how tiny and underfunded, find facts, stories, and amazing information I would never touch in a month of web crawling. I can go to a bar and hear stories, Usenet hasn't even come close to in its 20 years of waffle. Sorry, 22 years of waffle. But, um, uh, what about the stuff you can get on the web? Um, some people might ask me. Uh, they're missing the point. And the point is, the internet is not the sole basis upon which you can determine your existence. It sounds simple, but people are starting to forget this, because they spend all their time online! All their time at their computers! And, uh, if it doesn't have a website, that does, doesn't make something low quality. If you can't Google your blind date, that doesn't make them a freak. If one website says something about anything, it's more than likely pure invention and shouldn't be taken seriously. Checking your sources does not mean going to another website that says the same. It means asking people, picking up a phone, you know? God forbid going out of your house. Fiction is self-perpetuating. Okay, let's say it another way. A URL is not a mark of quality, it's a mark of quantity. It's not proof of honesty or approval from the Food and Drug Administration. Sure, people say they know this already. That a lot of the internet isn't true and a lot of it isn't interesting, no matter how angst-ridden and, and attention-seeking its author. But we still praise the internet for everything. From mobilizing global protests to creating the latest trends while disappearing up his ass and discarding anything outside of it as out of touch. It's like the internet has become our own religion almost. And, uh, I don't want you, but, yeah. Kind of a weird religion to me, doesn't, doesn't it seem like that to you? Well, when we ascribe every first world miracle the electronic age, there's something truly missing that we once had in our grasp. Sense of wonder. We used to give a shit. Back in 95, we were surprised. We were inspired. We were astonished. Astonished when things appeared on the internet. People started going around saying, holy shit, this could be something. But slowly, very slowly, at 16 kilobytes per second, strange websites, new information, odd diversions and discussions with people around the world appeared in this, in the world, kind of thing. In this internet. Each time it was met with surprise and delight, and even if some of it was deeply obscure and slightly dull. There is no doubting about the potential of the internet. But look what we've done with it. Food wrappers, soap operas, they tell us to visit their friggin' websites. 
Money is pumped online by people who can't even spell HTML. Can't it, let alone write any. All manner of pointless and irritating content is continually pouring down the infinite hole of data and down our throats, unfiltered and overappreciated. In accepting freedom of speech, we can't hide from its consequences, which in this case is millions of terabytes of unreliable information badly designed and clumsily written. We have failed our own creation and given birth to something truly awful. We're just too busy cooing over the piece of shit to notice. We need to start again. We need to stop saying how wonderful things are. We need to openly, truthfully, and respectfully admit that the internet itself is almost all of what's been done with it. Is shit. And, uh, we can't do that unless we, uh, reverse our rectal cranial inversion, which means getting our heads out of our asses. There's no point in doing what's been done. Well, what we need to do is change our attitude. The internet isn't new anymore. The evangelists have done our job. Everyone's heard of it even if they don't spend their lives logged on. Now it's the job of the congregation to revolt. Yes, the e-congregation needs to say, uh, yeah, not happening. Needs to say, yeah, we don't like the way we're going. We're getting a new leader. Uh, yeah, you're gone. Chant it from the rooftop. Spread it across your server and email it to your friends. The internet is shit. And then what? Well, we can move on. If we truly understand that the internet is shit, maybe we'll go back to looking elsewhere to check our information instead of just the almighty Google. Maybe journalists will do proper research again, going out, making phone calls, um, you know, talking to people face to face. I, I don't know what happened to that. Um, if we remember the medium isn't the message, then maybe We'll stop aimlessly surfing for something amusing when we could actually be doing something for fun. Playing frisbee, playing uh, football, uh, playing chess. Just going out and smelling the goddamn flowers. Talking. Ooh, we're so afraid of talking. We're so afraid of interaction with other people. Oh yeah. So uh, instead we'll just lock ourselves in a room and uh play online games. World of Warcraft, anybody? <laughs> Definitely more safe than... Hi, I don't know you. How are you doing? Yeah, my name is... Insert name in there. Right. And, uh, crucially, the, inf the internet is seen as unoccasionally unavoidable, as in, uh, if we see it more as the exception to the rule rather than the big obsession that we've made it then maybe the websites that give us something special will be actually amazing will actually be much better for uh, that so anyway given an infinite number of monkeys typewriters and they'll produce the works of Shakespeare either that's a bullshit statement or it's never happened or going to happen in our lifetimes. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like um, even though I've read the books, you know, reading all the books, I've read all the books where they didn't. I can't wait for the day where the internet just makes me, uh, I don't know, where the internet stops making me feel so damn frustrated. Um, where it actually makes me think that there's a future in it. Where it actually makes me think that there's some good for it rather than a bunch of people who do nothing but shit on other people for their efforts. Where people actually encourage one another. Where it's a community. Where it's full of positivity rather than a bunch of mass-manufactured CRAP! But, uh, right now, it's shit! The internet is shit, the internet has been shit for a while, and if we don't do anything, the internet will still be shit 20 to 50 years from now. So, I just want people to change the way they do things. 
so that the internet might not be shit. Hope I made you think. And if I didn't, hmm, no skin off my ass. Later.